the Career Path Pro Career Exploration Virtual Reality Edition. Film project examined if the career exploration, development, and resources Cedar tool with virtual reality increased career decision making and career self efficacy. Traditional career theories have historically emphasized individual factors such as self concept, interests, and abilities as primary determinants of career development. However, young adults, particularly, particularly those living in poverty, face unique challenges that influence their career choices and self efficacy. Poverty only exacerbates that challenge, as low-income youth have fewer opportunities for job shadowing, work experiences, and apprenticeships, limiting their exposure to different career paths. Limited access to role models, career resources, and opportunities for career exploration hinder their transition from school to work. These challenges can often result in reduced confidence in their career-related abilities. The intersections of how young adults develop their career identity can be complex and further complicated by disproportionate representation in rates of incarceration, unemployment, high school dropout rates, and living conditions. Parents' description of their own career paths, messages regarding careers, and support for career dreams significantly impact their children's career aspirations. The Career Exploration, Development, and Resources CEDAR program is tailored to empower young adults by increasing their career decision-making, self-confidence, and social connections through interactive group activities like discussions about family career histories and leveraging social media for career job opportunities. Career supports in CEDAR supports peer collaboration and engagement. Research suggests that programs like CEDAR effectively diminish career indecision through the use of career counseling, occupational training, job assistance, and career exploration. The CEDAR program was adapted for the use of career exploration virtual reality simulations. Through the use of transfer VR headsets, participants experience career exploration opportunities in a controlled, virtual environment and were exposed to a variety of immersive career scenarios from workforce industries such as automotive, advanced manufacturing, healthcare, and these are just to name a few. These virtual learning environments provided the participants with a safe place to make mistakes and receive judgment-free feedback. Both the employment counselors and young adults appeared to be engaged in each of the career exploration simulations and were amazed at the level of detail and career guidance provided by their virtual career coach. My capstone project recruited both employment counselors and young adults ages 18 to 24 from the Buffalo Employment and Training Center, better known as the Betsy. The Betsy is a comprehensive American job center where job seekers and employers have access to a wide array of free employment and training related services. The Betsy specializes in employment programming for veterans, young adults ages 16 to 24, dislocated workers, and individuals who are justice impacted. Betsy services include funding for training, resume writing, career assessment, job search assistance, and much more. It is important to understand the underlying factors driving behavior. Interventions may be ineffective or even counterproductive if frameworks are not applied correctly. The COM-B model was used as the behavior theory of change and provided a consistency for analysis when examining the individual's cap capability, motivation, opportunity, and how it impacts individual behaviors. The theoretical domains framework, also known as TDF, was also used to examine and categorize individual level behaviors and barriers and facilitators to implementing the CEDAR program. There were two main barriers identified for young adult participants. The first barrier was a lack of knowledge about how career exploration can positively impact long-term career choices. The implementation strategy identified 
to address this barrier was to conduct pre-educational meetings to introduce young adults to the benefits of career exploration. The second barrier identified was individual career goals and career outcome expectations have, been, have not been reinforced to produce goal-directed career behavior changes over time. The implementation strategy selected to address this barrier was to identify and prepare champions to assist with both the implementation and intervention outcomes by fostering buy-in as peer mentors for the other young adult participants. Implementation barriers and strategies were also identified for the employment counselors. It was discovered that employment counselors lack sufficient knowledge about career exploration opportunities available for young adults. Educational meetings were conducted to introduce the CEDAR career exploration intervention. Next, the employment counselors did not possess the knowledge necessary to share career exploration opportunities. So I recruited designated and trained existing employment counselors as, as informal leaders to support the intervention. I also conducted ongoing trainings, which included activities and discussions on best practices for exploring careers, setting career goals, addressing social barriers that hindered career outcome expectations and effective utilization of the virtual reality headsets. There were a total of four implementation research questions for young adults. Each question was designed to evaluate the implementation strategies associated with the young adult barriers. The anticipated outcomes I was attempting to understand for question one was if educational meetings conducted increased knowledge about the benefits of long-term career opportunities. For question two, I wanted to understand if the effectiveness of the champions would enhance beliefs about capabilities related to career exploration. Question three, I wanted to have a better understanding if there was an increase in the belief and capabilities about the CEDAR program. And question four, I wanted to understand if there was an increase in the knowledge while using the virtual reality simulations. Similar to the previous set of research questions, there were also a total of four implementation research questions for the employment counselors. The anticipated outcome I was attempting to understand for the employment counselors for question one was if the educational meetings would increase their knowledge about career exploration opportunities, particularly the CEDAR intervention. Question two, I wanted to have a better understanding if training employment counselors as informal leaders would increase their knowledge about how to share career exploration information with their peers. Question three, I wanted to find out if training would enhance their knowledge about career exploration, specifically the CEDAR intervention, and if virtual reality successfully supported career exploration information. There was only one intervention research question. This was designed to determine whether young adults had increased self-sufficiency, self-efficacy, and improved career decision-making after participating in the CEDAR program with virtual reality as an adaptation. The anticipated outcome was young adults would demonstrate increased self-efficacy and improved career decision-making after participating in the CEDAR intervention with the virtual reality adaptation. To assess the outcomes associated with each implementation research question, I designed two surveys. The first was a 19 question staff career exploration training survey. And the second was a 17 question young adult career exploration training survey. Both were a pre post test electronic survey using a five point Likert scale. There were two evidence-based intervention measures used to evaluate career decision-making and career self-efficacy. The first survey tool was the Career Decision Self-Efficacy Scale Short Form. This instrument is a 25 item inventory that measures a person's confidence in making career related decisions. This measurement tool incorporated five subscales that individually measured participant responses. The second survey instrument was the Career Counseling and Exploration Decision Scale. 
This is a 16 item scale comprised of two eight item subscales. Both measurement tools were pre and post electronic surveys and they were measured on a four point Likert scale. Overall, there was a tremendous amount of data that was analyzed to better understand and answer each of the implementation research questions for the employment counselors and the young adults. Following the color key, red, red represents not being statistically significant, yellow borderline significant, and green statistically significant. As you can see, questions one through five on the slide shows that there is a borderline statistical significance on how effective the educational meetings were for increasing knowledge. Participants in this study reported a minimal increase in career exploration knowledge after the educational meetings. However, I cannot reject the null as there is no statistical significance detected between the pre and post test surveys. The findings for questions six through nine reported no statistical significance. Questions 10 through 15 show borderline statistical significance in pre and post test mean scores. However, the null still could not be rejected as there was no statistical difference um, detected. Not displayed here, but I also had additional post-test only questions, which were questions 16, 16 through 19. This measured the respondents' capability to effectively use virtual reality technology. Overall, the staff reported that they can effectively use as a adaptation to career exploration. The findings for questions one through three on the Young Adult Career Exploration Training Survey found no statistical significance. However, there was a statistical significance in pre and post-test mean scores on t-tests for the effectiveness of champions to increase young adult career exploration, beliefs about capabilities. I was able to reject the null as there was statistical significance detected. The Career Counseling and Exploration Decision Scale found that there was a statistical significance for decreasing stigma about career counseling and career exploration decisions.